Before we get ready to solve algebraic equations, we should be careful and learn how to simplify algebraic expressions correctly. The first few problems that I have on the board here, I'd like to um, have you look at carefully because they have negative signs in front of a grouping symbol or in front of a set of parentheses. They're asking you, those problems are asking you to take the opposite of whatever's in here. So the opposite of 8x is a negative 8x. And the opposite of a positive 4 is a minus 4. A lot of people like to look at this problem as though I were asking you to take a negative 1 and multiply it by 8 to get the negative 8x. And a negative 1 and multiply it by the positive 4 to get the minus 4. You can do it either way. Um, I typically just look at that and say I'm asking for the opposite of these two terms. So the opposite of 7x is a negative 7x, and the opposite of a minus 3 is a positive 3. Textbooks often write this in somewhat complicated form. They think of this as a negative 1 times, they use a the distributive property, times the 7x, negative 1 times the 7x, and then they think of this minus 3 as a negative 3, and they write this as plus a negative 1 times a negative 3, giving us that positive 3 at the end. I just think that's a, a little bit of trouble. It is so much easier to just say, give me the opposite of a negative 8x, which is a positive 8x. The opposite of a positive 6y is a minus 6y. And the opposite of a negative 9 is a positive 9. Now, if we put that in context with a problem, where we don't just have a negative sign in front of the parentheses, we have a term in front of that. So let's say I have 4y minus 2y plus 5. When I ask you 4y to take away all of that, it's like I'm asking you, pretend there's a 1 here, it's like I'm asking you to add the opposite of every one of those. So again, when you see this minus sign in front of a set of grouping symbols, make that 2y a minus 2y. Make that 5 a minus 5. Drop the parentheses because you have distributed the negative 1 times those and you are ready to combine your like terms. 4y minus 2y is 2y and bring down your minus 5. Those are not like terms, the 2y and the minus 5. I cannot collect them. I have to leave it alone. Let's look at another. So 3a plus 2a minus... 4a plus 7. So I'm asking you to subtract all of that. I'm asking you to think of giving me the opposite of all of that. So that would be a minus 4a and a minus 7 and drop your parentheses now. You've distributed that negative 1 through those and now bring down your other terms and collect everything that is like working from left to right. So 3a plus 2a is 5a, and when I subtract 4a, I'll get a 1a. I won't write that in front, but you can. And my final answer to that problem is a minus 7. Just a couple more. Um, how about, let's use the distributive property, but no negative signs involved. Well, we do have to be careful of those. The distributive property here says that 2 times 3x is 6x, and 2 times 4 is 8. So I've distributed the 2 through the binomial. I've got to do the same thing here. I've got a positive 5 that's got to be multiplied by 2. That'll give me a positive 10x, and a positive 5 times a minus. That's essentially a negative 1 is what that is. 5 times a negative 1 is a negative 5. And if I have some like terms, I should combine them. So 6x and 10x is 16x, and 8 and a minus 5 is a positive 3. A positive 8 minus 5 is a positive 3. All done. Can't combine those like terms. Let's look at something with some grouping symbols. It's got some parentheses. Sometimes we will put, um, this is a, called a binomial in front because it's got two terms, therefore the word by. And I want to subtract 5 times 
this binomial. So this grouping symbol here really has nothing in front of it, so that kind of suits no purpose. It, does, it can be very confusing. I'm going to drop that grouping symbol, but I am going to take this minus 5, which is a negative 5, and distribute it times 2. That would be a negative 10b, and a minus 5 times a is a minus 5a. So I'll collect my like terms. So 6a, a negative 6a, minus 5a is a negative 11a, and then a minus 1b, and a minus 10b combines to be a minus 11b. I cannot do anything else with that because those are not like terms. One is apples and one is bananas, so they can't be combined. Let's just do maybe um, one more problem. Brackets have to match. Order of operations says to do the innermost set of parentheses first. So this set of parentheses is inside that square bracket. So I must distribute the 6 times the x and get 6x, and the 6 times the 4 and get a positive 24. And I'm going to bring down that minus 12 and now bring down my square brackets. I have gotten rid of those parentheses because I've distributed. Leave this minus sign alone until you've done everything inside of here. So I must distribute the 5 times x and get 5x, and 5 times a minus 8 and get a minus 40. I prefer, it's not necessary, but I prefer to collect my like terms within my grouping symbols before I go any further. So this positive 24 minus 12 is 12. So I have a 6x plus 12 in that group. And in this group, this minus 40 and a positive 14 have unlike signs. So a negative 40 and a positive 14, let's see, that would be 26 is their difference, with the minus sign having more pull of these two. Finally, this minus sign right here is asking you to take the opposite of those. This is positive right now, so that'll be a minus 5x. This is negative. It will become a positive 26. I'm going to drop this set of brackets now, and finally I'm ready to combine my like terms. 6x minus 5x is 1x, and 12 and 26 adds to be 38. I'm done. I've simplified this expression.